Welcome to the Zoom In TV News Flash. It's Monday, June 2nd, and we bring you a sequel for Red Dead Redemption, GameCube controllers for new Smash Bros, and Telltale hits coming to PS4 and Xbox One. But we start today's news update with Call of Duty. And that's where I come in. We haven't even played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, yet development studio Sledgehammer has already revealed that they have a sequel in mind. Speaking to Game Informer, studio boss Michael Condry said the developers are making the game in such a way that there's a possibility for a sequel. That being said, Activision holds a three-year development cycle for Call of Duty games, so Advanced Warfare 2 is already in development. Sledgehammer's Call of Duty Advanced Warfare will be out on November 4th. My name's John Marston. The Red Dead series is anything but dead. According to Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, the series is a permanent franchise. This suggests Rockstar Games might be working on a sequel already. Zelnick told this information at a meeting with analysts. He puts Red Dead in the same league as Grand Theft Auto, Borderlands and the NBA 2K series. Don't expect any news about a new Red Dead at E3 though. Traditionally, Rockstar Games doesn't reveal new games at the Californian Expo. Hello, old friend. It's been a long time. <laughs> Electronics company Samsung is joining forces with Oculus to develop VR headsets. Those are claims made by sources from tech website Engadget. The two companies will both make their own devices, but they will share experiences and information. Samsung is developing the OLED screens for the headset and Oculus is developing the software that Samsung needs. According to the sources, the device from Samsung should hit the market first and will be a more casual entertainment device. The Oculus is specifically made with gaming in mind. We're bringing together the best developers in the world, the best talent in the world across multiple disciplines to build something that everyone thought couldn't exist. When Super Smash Bros. Wii U hits the market, there's no reason to play with the Wii U gamepad or a Wii remote. A real pro plays Smash Bros. with a GameCube controller. Last week, Nintendo confirmed it will release an adapter that will allow four GameCube controllers to be connected to the Wii U. Now, they also announced full GameCube controller support for the Wii U brawler, which is good news for everybody who takes Super Smash seriously, which is everybody. Let's go. You got a problem with my crew? You got a problem with me? A leaked storyboard video suggests Ubisoft is working on a game with the working title Hero. The two videos suggest the idea that Hero is an online action game in which players craft their own warrior and their own style. Let's keep an eye on E3 next week. You will get all your E3 info here on Zoom In TV Games. I've got a home to defend. That does make me a hero. Yeah, oh, it's raining, it's raining, dude. It's raining! This is like Portal, man, look at that. If you ever watch our live show Big Red Laser, you will have seen Robert and Tim play Towerfall Ascension. The arena brawler has only been released for Windows PC and the PlayStation 4. Well, the wait is over because Towerfall Ascension is now also available for Mac and Linux. If you're into competitive party games, Towerfall is a must to buy. Oh! Oh! So stupid! Yeah. Telltale Games is bringing its The Walking Dead series and The Wolf Among Us to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The two seasons of The Walking Dead will be sold on separate discs. Furthermore, The Walking Dead Season 2 and The Wolf Among Us will be released as retail discs for Xbox 360 and PS3 as well. Microsoft will publish Rise of Nations Extended Edition this month. The gaming company acquired the rights to the series in the 38 Studios auction in December. The extended edition has been pimped graphically, but above all adds stuff like Steamwork support, achievements, Twitch integration, online multiplayer and cloud saves. This is your scout. Use him to discover rare resources or locate the enemy position. That's it for the news today. Next Thursday we will do a mini update again as we are preparing for the E3 in Los Angeles. Next week, Tim, Tara and Robert will be on the show floor to do exclusive interviews with all the developers. So tune in next week on Zoom In TV Games.